A mental health issue is thought to be at the heart of a Victoria woman's disappearance. 27-year-old Emma Filipoff was last seen in late November. Her mother has come here from Ottawa and has been searching for her ever since, but tomorrow she heads home alone. Emma's family and police, however, believe that she is still alive. CTV's Andrew Johnson joins us live with what happens next in the investigation. Andrew. Hudson, Shelley Filipoff has described her daughter's disappearance as the worst thing imaginable for a mother to go through. Every family's nightmare, and now she's returning to her family, but insists she is not losing hope. <laughs> Smiles have been rare during her nine-week stay in Victoria. Shelley Filipoff is saying goodbye before a flight home she desperately hoped she wouldn't be making alone. I feel like I'm leaving her behind. In the days before she disappeared, Shelley's daughter Emma made several calls to her mom. She was distraught and would ask her to come out to Victoria and help her move back to Ontario. But then Emma would call back and change her mind. Shelley didn't like what she was hearing, so she booked a flight to Victoria without her daughter knowing. But she was too late when she got to this woman's shelter where she discovered Emma had for some reason been staying. Her daughter was gone. Shelley had missed her by only a few hours. In the early moments of her search, Shelley figured her daughter Emma would turn up at any moment. I thought that it would just be a matter of time. I'd go around a corner and I would see her. Now she says she knows it won't be that simple. Emma's belongings were discovered in her van. She hasn't accessed her bank account. Her mother believes Emma is suffering from a serious mental health issue and may have gone into hiding. Police also believe she's still alive. You know, we've had a little bit of a cooling off period. Maybe that she's not feeling like there's so much pressure and we're kind of hoping that uh, we'll find her now. Maybe that uh, peace will come in or maybe she'll contact somebody in the family and uh, we'll be able to make sure she's safe. But the efforts of Vic PD investigators and teams of volunteers have turned up nothing. Emma was scheduled to return to work at Redfish Bluefish restaurant last Friday. Her mom hoped she'd just show up ready to rejoin society. She did not. I haven't lost hope. That, that would be absolutely not the case. Um, it's just going to take longer than I thought, I guess. Shelley says she will continue her search from Ottawa, where she needs to regroup and support her three other children. They've been very concerned about my health, my well-being out here alone. I need to go home and uh, I need to hug them. We need to spend some time together. If there is a break in the investigation, Shelley will be ready to board the first flight back to BC and her daughter. Hudson, we asked Shelley Filipoff what people here can do to help her now that she's headed home, at least for now. She asks the public to stay vigilant and says if you see someone that looks like her daughter, approach the person. Just straight up ask if they are Emma Filipoff and engage in conversation. If you think it is Emma, call 911. Shelley admits she doesn't think that scenario is likely anymore given how little this months-long investigation has uncovered, but she doesn't really know what else to suggest. All right. Andrew, thank you.